Okay, Bible joins us now. With, I tell you what, when, usually when we talk about three P, we're talking about sports championships. <laughs> yes. This is yeah, like don't dangerous. We wish. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. Dangerous weather once again. And round three on the way tomorrow, although oh. it doesn't look quite as pronounced. The threat for severe weather not quite as intense as what we felt mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. and yesterday. But it has been a couple of very very rough days around mm -hmm. here with likely tornado damage yesterday. We had a confirmed tornado in Berks County today. Well, it's looking more and more likely that a confirmed tornado will be reported when the National Weather Service goes out and assesses the damage in Montgomery County tomorrow. Some damage patterns that seem to match up to a tornado. So we'll keep you posted when we get that information. Things have quieted down now. Let's take a look outside. A very tranquil night along Main Street in Bethlehem. The lights are still on. Not many people out and about right now with uh, you can see not a whole lot going on. The rain has moved on out and temperatures are mild and will stay mild as we go through the next couple of days as well. We are going to see temperatures eventually start to drop next week. But first, a warm up on the way for tomorrow out ahead of our next advancing cold front. So what's happening outside on storm scan three? Not much. The storms have moved off the coast. Everything has cleared out. All the watches and warnings have been canceled or have expired. And as that system continues to push off the coast, we have quiet weather to start your Thursday. But here comes the next front. It's a cold front which extends back from portions of the Midwest down into Texas. And this is going to be advancing through our region tomorrow afternoon and evening yet again three days in a row with the threat for those late day thunderstorms. Let's recap just a few of our most intense storm reports from today. Montgomery County Green Lane 55 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. We had hail for 10 minutes in Pleasant Valley Bucks County. That's a long time to have hail falling and some of it was the size of an egg almost two inches in diameter. Multiple trees reported down in Harleysville. It's around Upper Salford Township that the suspected tornado damage. That's where we checked in with Kimberly at the top of the show. And again, they'll have to send a crew out to a Assess the damage patterns and see if it was indeed a tornado versus straight line winds. Doppler estimated rainfall totals as well. Look at the amount of rain that fell anywhere where you see yellow over three inches of rain, which led to flash flood warnings around the area and many of our creeks and streams are still running very high this evening. Now tomorrow starts off with clouds and sun. Here's 10 a.m. Looking pretty good. It's a warm and humid start to the day. Then as we head into the afternoon, here comes our next round of scattered storms. Again, they are a little more scattered in nature, likely moving through the city about six or seven o'clock and then clearing the coast after eight or nine. Could be a couple of rounds of these storms, though, aligned in squall lines moving through the region tomorrow evening. We are in a slight risk for severe weather. It's slightly less than the past two days when we had an enhanced risk, but that risk is still there. It's a hot and humid day tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 80s. Then we cut the humidity Friday, a pleasant finish to the week and not too bad on Saturday either. And it'll be a warm start to June, but relatively quiet. So tonight, 68 degrees. Tomorrow, 87, hot and humid with scattered late day thunderstorms. But as I mentioned, temperatures will be dropping a bit. We're back to 82, sunny, quiet, comfy on Friday. Saturday starts June at 85. Sunday, watch for a shower or thunderstorm. And then next week, there's the comfort with highs in the 70s and sunshine, a nice, tranquil, quiet, mm -hmm. pleasant pattern as we head into next week. And of course, Saturday starts lemonade days for That's Alex's right. Lemonade mm -hmm. Sticks. That's yeah. right. And so nice and pretty for Summerfest on Friday. That's yes. right. That's uh, right. Cool.